I'm going to introduce my wonderful contest master. She came all the way from the South Division. She's my South Division governor. She is phenomenal. When I first watched my first division contest, she was the contest master. And I said, oh my God, for international diversity, that's the one I want to have. She actually took the time to make sure that she pronounced everybody's name correctly. She's a lot better than I am at that. I'm going to welcome up my contest master, the wonderful and lovely Cassandra Lee. speaking space up here, I see that it has more equipment than I know what to do with. So let me get adjusted. Microphones, microphones, microphones. I see Ivory walking toward me. Are you about to solve my microphone dilemma? <laughs> Let there be space. Well, welcome again, everyone, to tonight's contest. We are in for a treat. As I was speaking to the different contestants in the briefing room, I said, wow. You have many more contestants here. This is awesome. Now I know at this time, I am to introduce our dignitaries. Yet what I would like to do instead is have all dignitaries please stand. to clap for you, yet let them know who you are, where you are, a dignitary, and that way, audience, let's do this. Let's allow each person to give their information, and after the last person gives their information, then we'll give a round of applause. Sound fair enough? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Let me start with Mr. Iqbal. Good evening, everyone. My name is Iqbal Acha, and I'm the District 30 Retention Chair. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jerry Evans. I'm the District 30 <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing this year. I'm the club extension chair. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tiffany Slinkle Howard. I'm the Northwest Division Governor. Good, need, good evening, everyone. I am the North Division Governor, Barbara Beckley. I'm glad to be here. Good evening, Sharon Cruz, District Recognition Chair. Rachel Mohammed, Central North Division Governor. Kathy Stroh, Northeast Division Governor. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Irene Loges, Area C23, Area Governor. Hello everyone, I'm Dee Marie Smith, Area S55, Area Governor. <laughs> Hello, Dushan Mosley, S53, Area Governor. Happy Thursday, my name is Matthew Fox, Area B16, Central South. Good evening everyone. I'm the Administrative Assistant to the District Governor. I'm Don Williams. Hello, fellow Toastmasters. I'm Ethel Goatee, Lieutenant Governor of Education and Training. Greetings and salutations. I'm Calvin Gibbs, West 71 Area Governor. Sanitiano, Area C25 Governor. JD, Area Governor for B14. We also have Mark Marchino and Chris Sultz for other two area governors from this one. Lorraine Moment, area governor, uh, C15. Hello everyone, my name is Latrice Ford. I'm the area governor for C21. Hi, I'm Lily Simmons, area governor B17. <coughs> I am Sean Delon LaShawn Casey, <laughs> and I am the area governor for me too. Frank Hesser, West Division Governor. <coughs> Oscar Langford, Central South Division Governor. 
and Cassandra Diva of Dialogue Lee, South Division Governor. We may now do our round of applause. We will have two contests tonight. We will have the Table Topics Contest first and the International Speech Contest second. The first contest that we will have will be table topics, one to two minutes. So that means our contestants will see the green light at one minute, the yellow light at a minute and a half, and the red light at two minutes. We will take a one minute break in between each speaker. That will give us an opportunity to have a moment of silence. And speaking of moment of silence, can everyone please take out your mobile devices? and double check that they are indeed on the silent mode. That way, as our contestants are speaking, they won't be disturbed. After the actual table topics contest ends, we will then take a break and we'll conduct the international speech contest afterwards. Now, contestants, timers, ballot counters, and sergeant at arms have all been briefed prior to the beginning of this contest. Everyone is aware of the Toastmaster International rules that govern this contest, which means no one should leave the room or enter the room as the contests are taking place. Again, we don't want any distractions for our contestants. You may leave the room in between when we do the one minute of silence when we have the break, if time permits. Just keep in mind, once the contest has begun, we will not have people entering and leaving back and forth in and out the room. With that being said, let the contest begin. You want to find out what the speaking order is? Yeah. And I'm already, I'm also ready to put into practice my name pronunciation I was doing in the briefing room as well. Let me go through the order for you. I recognize on our list for our contestants with table topics, we have seven names listed, yet we will have order for six individuals. I see a point of clarification. Yes, madam? The seventh person is here. The seventh person is here. Great. So here's the contest order. Ethan Sutman is first. Ethan Sutman is number one in speaking order. Contestant number two is Michael Corotis. Michael Corotis is speaker number two. Mary Jakowiak is speaker number three. Mary Jakowiak is speaker number three. Tim Wilson, speaker number four. Tim Wilson, speaker number four. Speaker number five, Charles Carruthers. <coughs> speaker number five, Charles Carruthers. Speaker number six is Cynthia Sharp. Speaker number six, is Cynthia Sharp. And contestant number seven is Ava Tony Schneider. Contestant number seven is Ava Tony Schneider. Now that we have our speaking order determined and it has been announced, Sergeant at Arms, can you please escort all of our table topic contestants out of the room except for our very first one? which will be Ethan Sutton.
Thank you. Thank you, Sergeant at Arms. And it looks as if Ethan has been mic'd and is now ready. Ethan, there is a quote that says, when you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. What does, what does that mean to you? When you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, <laughs> now that our second contestant is all mic'd up, our second contestant is Michael Coronas. Michael, there's a quote that says, when you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. What does that mean to you? When you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. What does that mean to you, Michael Coronas? I'm hoping that, yep, you can hear me. I couldn't hear you back there, so I was talking to myself. <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters and guests, being asked the question if I wasn't being compared to anyone else in the room and I was simply myself, what would I, how would I react and how would I feel? I believe that's a question that we all are faced at different times. Nobody likes to be compared, judged, or felt different. We all want to feel that we are a part of something great and that we all make a, good, make a difference. For myself, I equate that back to being a child and being in school. Naturally, we all have things that we feel that we can do better at and there are things that we feel that we do very well at. For me, what I got the most improvement and felt the most satisfaction from was helping others who maybe were struggling. We all can feel for times when we certainly felt like we weren't doing as good as others. And so I would reach out, as I did one time, with someone with spelling, which was something that I seemed to be told I did a very good job with. And I gave rim rhymes and use consonants to help spell words. And that I saw from the one child that I was my friend who was struggling with that, found that to be something that was helpful, and she smiled. And that made me feel really good. And so my reaching out to you today would be, look for someone who looks like they're struggling, or a little nervous, or feeling like they're being judged. And let, let them know that we all feel that at different times and that we all could, could think of things that we really do reflect on, that we are good at. And it feels good to help other people. In summary, I hope that what I've passed on to you about helping others is something that you can help make yourself feel better about in a situation where you might feel judged. And it'll give you a great sense of accomplishment. Thank you.
Thank you, Madam Time. Our fourth contestant is Tim Wilson. Tim, we hear you are on. <laughs> Tim, there's a quote that says, when you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. What does that mean to you? When you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. What does that mean to you, Tim Wilson? To me, I'm doing the wrong thing up here, so no one respects me. <laughs> right? You're thinking it right now. You're thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's going up there and he's competing. That, that boom, man. What the heck? Who is this guy? Who is he to go up there and compete with hey, Tim Wilson up here, right? You know, you're impressed. I can tell already. Hey, I don't see him. But it gets back to that basic issue. And I think it really goes back to Lao Tzu. And I'm sorry, I think Lao Tzu said it better. He said, do nothing. Leave nothing undone. To me, that kind of gets at the idea. This idea, you really don't have to do so much. You ever get the feeling you're doing a lot? Yeah. You're really running, and you're not getting anywhere? Have you ever heard the expression, that this mic is way too loud. <laughs> <laughs> Heard the other expression by a guy called Lewis Carroll talking about the Red Queen. They don't even know who the, who the Red Queen is. Or, yeah, the Red Queen. It doesn't matter. The point is, the saying is, is that if you want to get somewhere, you have to run as fast as you can. If you want to stay in the same place, you have to run as fast as you can. If you want to get somewhere else, you have to run twice as fast as and sometimes maybe you feel like you're just running as fast as you can, and you're running, and you're running, and you're trying to get things done, but somehow you look around and you haven't moved. What Lao Tzu says is, do nothing, leave nothing undone. Think about life as if you're in a stream. You're sitting there in the stream, just floating. And as you float, you move. It's like, if you just picture yourself floating one of those inner tubes. Just picture that, imagine that now. You're floating inner tube, and you're moving. But you're not moving. The stream is taking you. So if you want to get somewhere in life, get a new mic. <laughs> and then, do nothing. But do nothing. I'm done. Madam Timers. Our next contestant is Charles Carruthers. Charles, there is a quote that says, when you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. What does that mean to you? When you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. What does that mean to you, Charles Carruthers?
myself to be content. That is a good subject for today because actually starting this weekend, I'm going to a convention where I need to be judged on being me. <coughs> Not being judged on how other people see me, but only doing what I do. And I know what I do best is being me. No one is better at it. <laughs> I hope that people will see that Charles Carruthers is and always will be one who does not compare himself to others. He is his own individual. He does not look at others for validation because validation comes from within self. I have that. I hope that the others this weekend will see me as the same and that Charles Carruthers is and always will be one with himself. Madam Chair. Madam Timers, one minute of silence, four o'clock. Thank you, Madam Timers. <clears throat> Our sixth contestant is Cynthia Sharp. Cynthia, there's a quote that says, when you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. What does that mean to you? When you are content to be simply yourself and don't compare or compete, everybody will respect you. What does that mean to you? Cynthia Sharp. Without my expression, 
There's a missing. There's nothing here. And maybe I'll get respect. Maybe not. We'll see. But the most important thing is, I am living in my authenticity. I am feeling the vibrancy and the love and the energy flowing through me. And I am tuned in, tapped on, and excited. And that's what I, that whole statement means to me. <laughs> yeah. Madam Simers, one minute of silence on the clock.
Master, all balance have been collected. Thank you. At this time, we will hear from our Central North Division Governor, Ms. Rachel Muhammad, who will give us some exciting details about something that she knows a lot about firsthand, and that is our District 30 2015 Spring Conference. Rachel. And right now, the early bird special goes into Sunday, April Sunday, 5th. April 5th. Your entire club can go for $125. You pay the $125, every member in the club and all guests are able to attend the spring conference. Two days of a lot of fun. We have great things going on. We have two wonderful presenters. Our presenters are Cheryl Roush. She's a speaker, a speaker's coach, and an author and Alan Shainer. Alan Shainer is our international director for Region 5. District 30 is in Region 5. He's our international director. Both of these two will be presenting. There are keynotes. It's going to be great. In addition to that, we're doing some different things. Tonight we have something a little different with the international performance. At the spring conference, we're going to have something different. How many people have ever watched or heard of America's Got Talent? Well, guess what? Toastmasters does too. <laughs> Toastmasters got talent. Lots of us come in to practice our communication and leadership skills, but in addition to that, some of us have some additional talents that we can showcase to everyone. You can sign up to participate as a contestant, I guess, and actually showcase your talent by going to toastmastersgottalent.eventbrite.com and you can sign up for that. When you are attending the conference, you get to go there because you are already signed up for it. We have tons of food. I love that part, that's my favorite part. <laughs> In addition to that, we also are going to have the red carpet parade. How many people have seen the red carpet parade? It's a lot of fun. You have your entire club run up and cheer for you because you win some prizes as a club and a team. Then we also, in addition to having the red carpet, we have our banner parade. Talk about club pride, that's a great way to do it. We're gonna have all of our, um, our executive council meeting is going to be going on Saturday. In addition to that, there's a lot of in additions. Have you noticed this, guys? It's, it's because there's so much going on. Who wants to see the winners from tonight's contest go on to compete with all of the winners? They're good tonight, they're going to be even better at the district level because that's one level up. So whoever wins tonight will be going to the district conference. The Table Talkies contest is going to be that Saturday, I'm sorry, Friday night at 8 o'clock right after we have our Toastmasters Got Talent. And of course there's educational sessions. And then the International Speech Contest is going to be Saturday in the afternoon. And then we'll have dinner after that and lunch before. <laughs> Wait, I did say I like to eat, guys. <laughs> hmm? Oh, yeah. And because of the fact that this year, how many of you knew that this is District 30's 65th year Ooh, in existence? Yeah. We started in the 1950s, guys, wow. and we're going to celebrate. Everybody gets to dress up as if they're in the 50s. Oscar said he's going to dress up like Fonzie. Hey. <laughs> I said if Oscar dresses up like Fonzie, then I'm going to wear a poodle skirt. <laughs> you will not see me in a poodle skirt. Because <laughs> he's not going to be dressed up like Fonzie. <laughs> but if he does, I'll follow through. So if you can convince him to dress up like Fonzie, then you'll see me wearing a poodle skirt. 
Oscar's cooler than Fonzie. <laughs> 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 Yes, he absolutely is cooler than Fonzie. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Forgot that I was Mike. Any questions or concerns, challenges? How's everybody enjoying the contest so far? I'm going to give you guys a short break. Oh, yes. I have a little something, something for you. I'm going to have Linda. Muriel, come up and explain what it is. All right. All right. All right. What it up is if I won a prize. <laughs> Some of you have already received your wonderful tickets, and if you haven't, my wonderful assistant, my daughter Susan Muriel, will be helping me during the break to make sure that you get your raffle tickets. So please participate. The contest will be drawn at the end of the Toastmasters contest. Cool. Thank you. I got a CD of somebody. I can't remember who it is right now. We'll let you know what the prizes are when you win them. And you cannot win if you are not here. I'm going to go ahead and let us um, all, I'm going to turn it back over to my Toastmaster. We're going to have a break. Just so you know, make sure you are seated in 10 minutes so we can go ahead and get started because I need to be out of here at 8.30 on the dock. I'm going to turn it back over to the Sandra. I'm telling the truth, right? Everybody knows that.